Arya Majumdar was a vivacious child, always bursting with energy. He loved, lived, shared, and cared with a huge heart. A week before his eighth birthday in 2006, Arya was diagnosed with leukemia. After waiting three years, he received a bone marrow transplant from a close but not perfect match. Less than a year later, he relapsed, and after many painful treatments and extended hospitalization, he succumbed to the disease at the young age of 11. Arya's father, Kumad Majumdar, believes that a better match may have saved Arya's life and contends that if compensation were offered to donors, the donor pool would expand to enable more donations from compatible matches. Jordan Flynn was born with a genetic blood disorder called Fanconi anemia and desperately needs a bone marrow transplant in order to survive. When a match was not forthcoming, Jordan's mother, Doreen Flynn, and her then-husband turned to in vitro fertilization in the hope of creating a sibling match for her. But in a cruel twist of fate, twins Georgia and Julia were born with the same deadly disease. There must be days you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Yep. Today, one of those days. In a courageous attempt to save her daughter's lives, Doreen became the head plaintiff in a court case that challenges the National Organ Transplant Act, which makes it illegal to buy and sell organs and organ parts. As a mom, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help make that possible for them. Doreen Flynn is joined by Kumad Majumdar, as well as a number of other plaintiffs. Dr. John Wagner is the director of the Bone Marrow Program at the University of Minnesota. He says that at least one in five of his patients die because no matching donor can be found. And many others have complications when the scarcity of donors compels him to use imperfectly matched donors. Shaka Mitchell is also among the plaintiffs. Through his website, moremarrowdonors.org, he is ready to launch a donor compensation program whereby donors would be gifted with $3,000 in non-cash compensation via charitable organizations. Right here, I've got the names of hundreds of people that have signed up to be a part of our program. It's so worth the fight, I think. If we can't do this in time for my girls, we can do this in time for somebody else's kids. If this has to go all the way to the Supreme Court, then so be it. We'll stand there and we'll argue for freedom and we'll argue for the lives of bone marrow patients across the country.